All right, guys, this is the top of the apron. And we have a, an oil feed coming into this point just here. And we have two oiling points further on down that, that, uh, that oil shafts in line with those holes. So you can see I've put my felt in on here. This only had one oiling point. It's got a second oiling point that is fed from the back end of the saddle that feeds into that by the look of it. I've got these two oiling points here and I've made up my, my little felt wick, which is this one here. And what I've done where these holes are, I've actually necked the felt down slightly so that it's going to fit in there a little bit easier. And we'll see how we go. And I'm just using the ball end of a uh, Allen had a key just to get those to feed down inside. We're just push them down inside there. You don't want them tight because we want them to be able to wick. You don't want them squeezed up like a sponge. So just gonna fit in there. And as that felt is wetted with the oil, it will wick and felt does wick very, very well. Probably nothing better for wicking than felt. Let's stick her off there. So we've got them down a little ways in there where we've necked it down. They're quite loose now, which is good. I just need to ball the ends up to fit into those little cavities. I need to pack these reasonably tight in here because I want to allow a little bit of back pressure on that feed system. So, get that jammed in there. So we don't want this being free flowing in there at all. We want it to have some back pressure against it. Uh, otherwise, uh, obviously when the pump's running, it's gonna take the easiest course and that will be through there. So I packed it out a little bit. This one on the end has got nothing, so it's not as critical. We'll ball that up as best we can. Look at that. Fitting down inside there. Oh, what's my little Alan key? There it is. I'll just feed these in just a touch more, just to get them a little bit tighter. Like that. All right. I'll wet them down with oil, just so they sit a little bit flush up. When I was an apprentice, that was a job that I did do with a very old fitter, an old pommy fitter called Arthur, and we had a, a, a bailing machine. And the bearings on some of the shafting were fed by felt wicks. So the type of felt you need to use on this isn't like the felt you get out of a, um, a billiard table. You want a woolen felt, which is more like a sponge. So we'll get that uh, we'll get that wetted up and so that it uh, it starts. Alrighty, so that's now ready to go back onto the saddle. We will fill this up with oil first and uh, I want to operate that pump just to make sure that, um, that that pump is operating. Now we did try that obviously before we put it back together again, but you don't know what happens when you put things back together and it's always worthwhile just giving it a bit of a tickle uh, just to make sure that uh, everything's kosher. Alright guys, we'll be back soon. All right, we've primed the system and we've got some good oil flow. So I'll just plug this off here. And you can see our oil starting to, uh, to come out of there. We don't block that off. It's quite a volume that comes out of here. So that will then head up into the saddle and then uh, across into the cross slide so it, uh, it does all the cross side ways and also does the saddle ways on the lathe bed so quite a lot of uh, pipe work involved to do that but uh, no I'm really really happy with that that's uh, that's worked out well 
it's now ready to go back on the lathe. Alright guys, we'll, uh, we'll catch up with you soon. Alright, so I've lifted the, uh, the apron into place with my crane and I've set it down these um, timbers here. Um, I've had the saddle off to one side, dropped the apron on the timbers, then pulled the saddle back over the top of the apron. I've dropped this uh, all thread through into the uh, into the threaded section of the uh, of the apron with some nuts, and all we're doing is just basically screwing those two to raise it up until we can get a bite with the socket head cap screws that uh, that go in here. So I'll just keep on with that process. You can do that very very gently. Just make sure everything's going up nice and even, and nothing's going to catch, and it all looks good. Well, I'll just drop those socket head cap screws in there and see if they'll, uh, they'll catch. Alright. We're under control. Just loosely. I'll just loosely fit that all cap in so nothing drops inside. Oh, one thing we did forget, I forgot to put the O-rings in on those. Uh, Points. Right, I'm quickly going to get some O rings now and uh, get them set into place. And the tape of pins have lined up quite nicely on that as well. And that's the apron on. All right. Next tip is we'll uh, we'll get the uh, the cross side into place. But looking good so far, guys. Looking real good. Very happy with that. All right. So I've been cracking the handle backwards and forwards a little bit, and we're now starting to get oil coming into these ways here. So let me show you what's going on there. You'll see the oil starting to pool. feel it getting easier on the waves and you can actually feel the oil on there now. I'll we'll take you up and I'll show you. That oil is starting to pool around there. I'll give you a closer look. Okay, so you can see that oil pooling quite nicely on there now. Now the instructions say there's an on-off knob here to turn the, uh, the lubrication on and off. So it says to turn the lube oil on every four hours. Um, whilst you're operating the saddle and all the other functions and leave it on for 10 minutes just to let it uh, work its way through and lubricate and then just turn it off like that. So that's on and that's off. It's a fairly simple system. I must admit I do prefer having a standalone system for oil systems rather than relying on something else to operate something else. But um, it is what it is, and uh, we will work with it. We do have the ability to put some uh, 1 8 BSP uh, flathead oilers in here and here, and that will feed the, uh, feed the ways separately. But for the time being, we'll, uh, we'll do it as it's designed. No, very happy with that. That's, uh, that's working really well. All right, guys, we'll see you soon.